Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to share a coat that we have in our collection. It was created by the French designer André Courage. With Easter less than a week away, I'm reminded of a spring coat that I received as a child, Robin's egg blue with a velvet collar. It brings back fond memories. Although a little more sophisticated, this coat, vintage 1967, seems very modern. The career path of André Courage was long and winding. During World War II, he served as a pilot. Afterwards, he studied civil engineering, largely because his family disapproved of design as a career. He acquired his tailoring skills over 10 years, working for Cristobal Balenciaga, known as the king of fashion in Paris, before opening his own fashion house. Courage designed for many years. Nicknamed the Space Age Quartier, he was known for geometric or architectural designs. The chosen fabric of this coat, a heavy wool, holds a shape well. Perhaps he was going for a rectangle and just needed enough flair for the hips. The stitching on all the edges was another technique to stiffen the fabric, and it shows off the lines nicely. Did you notice the pockets? They are on the outside and buttoned down, keeping that sleek look. The metallic leather belt is the only hint that Courage used some unusual materials for the time, like metal, plastics, and PVC. An equally sculpted but much more curvaceous look of his was the body suit. He paired that with short skirts worn at the hips. How short? Well, he is credited by some as having invented the mini skirt. Try not to hold that against him. White and silver were favored colors. He's known for the little white dress. Some bold colors did show up on occasion. Obviously, this coat is tan, perhaps a nod to the aspects of menswear he wove into some collections. The coat isn't shown with shoes, but if it was, they might be boots. Does anyone remember white ankle boots known as go-go boots? Yep, Courage is credited with designing those also. I love the fashion exhibits we have here at the museum on occasion. I can't say the same for my husband. Do you have an interest in fashion and its history? Do you look at the clothing and paintings and place the people in place and history? What makes an outfit special enough to be included in a museum collection? Is it the designer, someone who wore it, or something new about the idea? Share your comments in the space below.